Hey guys, today I'll be doing a video about how I did my push button start. This is my push button start. I got $7 at Princess Auto. Pretty good deal, actually, if I'm not gonna lie. You could do like Redneck Computer Gate for this on off switch, which is your kill killer, like it kills your motor. This is a tether. This was about 15, 20 bucks, I guess, on Amazon. So, Redneck Computer Geek, what he did was he had it, it shows on or off, you know, on the thing. And he said that because I know how these are backwards in order to be able to run these engines or shut them off. What he did is he cut the tab off and put it on the other way. So, it would be like it actually supposed to be to kill the engine off. Now, I didn't need to do that because, well, I don't really care in pers personally. But just turning this on and start it. That's kill it. It's not the end of the world for me. Same thing with the tether. You fall off, that pulls, it kills the out motor. Open this up. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Under there. All right. This is your push button right here. You have one wire. I believe this wire, actually the top wire, goes to your battery. Or some of you run it right off the solenoid, whatever. Another wire goes to, it's connected to the fuse and it goes down to the white wire. Where's it? Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move some wire out of the way. It's hard to see. See where that kind of shiny thing is under there? Um, let's see if I get a different angle. I don't focus already. You see that little white shiny thing? For some reason my camera won't focus, but anyways. That wire goes down to a fuse, which brings down to that white wire. This, on the other hand, what you do is... I, what I did is I cut it off the key. So I found out which wire went to the key. I actually think it's this white wire here. I'm not sure. Another one goes down to... Your kill wire. Hold on, I actually have them here. This is the setup I ran for my ground. See, so I ground them out. You have one wire that's ground. The black wire when it comes in the tether. You have the white wire that's more positive, you know. Hold on, I think I mix it up. No, these are all grounds. Wait, right. sorry. No, it's correct in the first part. These are positive. See, all connect to positive. And that's the negative. So what I did was, if I if I got that correct, I'm not too sure. I put all my positives on this tether. So, so you know that switch, this switch here, is connected to this. So it's all in the same wiring. I know it looks janky with the thing, but it's all done properly underneath. That was just some, some sort of waterproofing coating, I guess I made. But it's a pretty simple system. I really enjoy it compared to the the switch. The reason why I went to this is because I had problems with my switch. For some reason, when I turned the switch, it just didn't do anything. The solenoid, I had changed solenoid because the solenoid was sticking. I just got tired of the key, and I was like, my problem solved. Just little backfire there. Little backfire there, but whatever. Got to fix that. Got some fine tuning to do. Once all that tuning done, though, we will be ready to rock and roll. Currently, I actually have my trailer on there. I gotta cut the steering column down, make it shorter, because it doesn't look good. But, uh, yeah, build's coming along. I, I, I really like it. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next video.